what's good it's music nick cook up series appreciate you being here if you're new to the channel welcome if you're returning appreciate you everybody drop a comment run up the likes if we got 75 likes on a video we're dropping some more free samples if you haven't already check out the description we got some free samples from last time we got 50 likes let's run it up to 75 likes today shout out carolina boy ent he commented uh, for a Doughboy tutorial. I honestly had never really listened to Doughboy, but then I saw he dropped an album like a few weeks ago and uh, just listened to like pretty much all of that. And that shit's fucking good. I don't get, I was looking, he's got like a million monthly listeners, but his album's got like every feature on it. It's got like mad dope producers on it. So like, it was fucking good. So like, yeah, I'm excited. Just gonna make like a fucking dark, kind of simple, hard trap beat. And uh, yeah, see what we make today. So appreciate being here. Appreciate watching. Shout out Carolina Boy for the suggestion because it's just gonna be dope and i like that i'm i downloaded that shit i hit the like button like that shit's dope so uh yeah let's make a dope boy beat let's go comment like subscribe let's get those 75 likes let's get it right there that's just like a chill progression that was gonna say repeat like boom 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 <coughs> I've just had that fucking picture in the way of the whole entire melody didn't I it was just covering the whole thing I didn't know oh my god it's so all we did there man a c e so it's root third fifth and then skip another seven skip another ninth that's the seventh, just octaved, plus a ninth. So it's really like a ninth chord, just played separated. And then what is this? Then we just did an E, root, third, fifth. But then we brought the, uh, what did we do? It's two chords of one, E, D, B, which is E minor. But then it's G, B, D, which is G major. So it's like a major and a minor chord at the same time. And then lots of strum. myself pause there for a second I'm an idiot and I didn't realize so we took addictive keys two studio grands and we just uh we transposed this to D sharp and we just put our chords into one and then we put our top line into the other uh just because we we're going to uh use them a little differently in the mixer racks on here just i'm making i'm working on like an effect rack sound bank of sorts uh just some crazy shit so got kush verb on here turned down a little bit just all these things like you don't need like like i basically make things like portal or type shit that you don't need any of those plugins when you got effect racking and just go crazy like this and then layer them on top of each other and you got like a hundred effects and go crazy so we got to balance that out though because that damn like that that's all way too much cpu got a stereo imager got the chords out to the left here again just layering up layering up effect racks just going crazy. It's just been my thing lately. I don't know. I just like making these crazy custom effect racks. I save them. I'm making a whole pack of them. And then you can just throw a whole bunch of them on your mixer. And your shit gets trippy and crazy real quick. It's not dope. I don't know. The EQ's on there again. Same thing for the other piano to the other side. A few different, uh, a few different presets here. Yeah, I'm just going crazy on the effect racks, man. It's just my thing lately. And then, uh, I have a few more effects to this uh, analog lab, you know, my favorite wider plus drip, and then some uh, echo, ambient echoes and shit. Alright, got a nice little start there, just need to add a little bit more flavor, but yeah, we got some shit going. Alright, we got this arcade from like poolside, dusk falls, uh, just this one thing on repeat, we put half time on it, again, effect rack. Effect rack, effect rack, an EQ, a chorus, just pull down a bunch, a flank just pulled down a bunch, an imager just widening the shed of it, and again, one more EQ actually, and just cut those low end around 140. 
50, a little like drop off. Beautiful. That's the next little piece. We'll bounce that shit out. All right, we got this pocket band, uh, opaque. And we threw all these effects. We got a chorus pull down, a flangus effect rack, effect rack, effect rack. Do you get it yet? Yeah, I like effect rack. Imager, nice and wide, blends in like this. Fire. Alright, let's bounce that out. Alright, another pocket band ceased to be this time is the, uh, the, whatever you call it, the bank. Wider, plus drip, plus effect track, plus, uh, parametric EQ. And that's all we need. That's the last piece. Let's arrange this, throw some master effects on it, and some hard drums. Intro, chorus, verses, and the verses we got the uh, different pieces like pulled down an octave and whatnot. On the master, we got a retro color 20 vinyl 2. You know what it is, it's just that it's a little took off a wall and all that shit. The set, put it to the right one, fucked with it just a little bit, turned out the volume and shit. Some simple EQs. We'll balance this out, put it down a hundred cents, add a few more effects, throw those drums on them. So I hear you hear the bringing some stuff down an octave for the verses. And some different stuff down an octave. And then just copy it over that piano again just to have it. Just to show that that's what I would do into the pre-chorus. type yeah I think that shit turned out super dope that samples crazy hard drums yeah comment below what do you think hit that like button 75 likes to get more free samples download the free samples in the description and yeah so the next time comment below we trying to see and here's the final bm out of here peace